got one announcement to uh, all the speakers. Please uh, leave the presentation here on this computer. Uh, this is uh, where we uh, take the presentations uh, also for the website. And if you have any changes uh, to uh, the presentation you are holding here, uh, then uh, you send this uh, uh, to me. Okay. Good morning to everyone. Um, as you may know, uh, <coughs> there is an innovation committee on this construction. Uh, it has been introduced within the first workshop in Copenhagen. Um, and the, the main uh, mission of this innovation committee is to try to, to, to do a kind of brainstorming in terms of ideas and uh, uh, dissemination of innovations under this construction. So briefly, I will just try to explain the structure of this presentation. I will just refresh the mission of this innovation committee uh, under the scope of the cost action to 1402. And then I will try to explain a little bit what it uh, has been done so far and what's next uh, for the future. So for some of you that were in the workshop in Copenhagen, uh, it was identified three main uh, streams for this innovation committee to advise dissemination of innovations, mainly focusing on innovation, entrepreneurship, and uh, dissemination. So for each one of these uh, pillars, uh, we tried to discuss a little bit what could be done under this construction. And um, at that workshop in Copenhagen, some uh, activities were already recommended as uh, possibilities for this cost action uh, for the innovation pillar, for the entrepreneurship pillar, and for dissemination. So all of these uh, uh, activities were presented in the, in the workshop in Copenhagen. Um, and uh, I'll say that uh, until now, after that uh, workshop and uh, take into account the workshop in Istanbul, uh, there were some activities that were already <laughs> developed. I'll highlight mainly some sessions, mainly in the Istanbul uh, workshop, in working group one and two, in the discussion of the framework, uh, diagrams, and flowcharts. I think it, I, it has been very uh, fruitful in terms of discussion. I will say also that there were some good presentations. I highlight one of them that I personally like a lot from Helmut Wessel, where he presented in Istanbul, uh, in Copenhagen, sorry, um, a lot of cases where uh, ACGM was applied and we see how this could be a uh, benefit in terms of uh, using these technologies from a owner perspective. And uh, finally, uh, in uh, Istanbul, it was also uh, promoted a survey, a questionnaire, trying to get some feedback from you and try to understand what you are expecting from this construction, okay? Uh, in the second pillar, I will say that um, in both uh, workshops in Copenhagen and Istanbul, there were some interesting uh, keynotes, either from a perspective of an entrepreneur or, either, or a owner, where we could see ACGM uh, 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 playing a, a role uh, in terms of um, new products and as well in terms of how this could be used from an owner or oper uh, operator perspective. Um, and finally, uh, from what has been done so far, I'll say that in terms of dissemination, um, we have our cost action website where it has been uh, progressively uh, been uh, evolving. Uh, we have also a report that was uh, also a, a result from the papers presented in the first workshop in Copenhagen. And also, as Sebastian has presented in his presentation, we have a call for papers for two uh, conferences that will occur this year. So now the question is, this is what has been done so far. The question now is, what is recommended for the next uh, uh, period? So in terms of innovation, I'd say that uh, taking, and from the innovation committee perspective, I think that uh, based on these factors that is being developed, we should give more visibility to the people that are uh, giving an effort to, to, to put this action uh, forward. So I would, I would say that, for example, one thing that could be done 
is uh, in the cost website. We could try to develop a kind of diagram, very simple. We could identify the areas where people are experts. Okay, there are um, if each person might have more one more than one area that is an expert. But I would say that try to to label each person for uh, an area that you will be. Uh, be an expert to, to consult. So, for example, these fact sheets, we have uh, different fact sheets in different subjects. Perhaps this could be a starting point to develop this kind of diagram that we could see very clearly where the people are positioned in terms of uh, their expertise. And th I think this also is very uh, uh, good for those that perhaps are uh, <laughs> uh, seeking for uh, partners for proposals, for projects, that could be easily to see which people I would like to work in the future, based on this interaction and this construction. Um, another thing that I think uh, it will be very interesting, and I'm, I'm saying this from uh, an owner of operator perspective, is that uh, we have a lot of uh, <laughs> researchers in this construction, but I think we should try to push more the feedback from the owner of operator perspective. So I, uh, the Innovation Committee will suggest, for example, that uh, the, the non-researcher partners from an industrial perspective could try to share some problems that they are facing uh, uh, currently and where this cost action could help them. Okay? Perhaps, uh, for example, an operator of roadways could try to share a problem that they are currently facing and they will be willing, for example, to host uh, a researcher for a short scientific mission, which is in fact another recommendation that the Innovation Committee gives now in the entrepreneurship pilot, that perhaps these short-term scientific missions, uh, of course, we, co we can go wherever you want to go, but we could try to push a little bit more the interest from the, for the industry side. So perhaps it could be interesting that uh, <laughs> people could be willing to go to an industrial partner and try to engage with them, trying to, to understand a little bit more what are their problems that they are facing and where they say GEM could indeed help them in resolving them. So perhaps one possibility could be under the, this construction, asking for each industri industrial partner to formulate a problem Small, a simple problem or whatever they, they wish and could share in this cost action as a subject where a person, if he wants to be, would be willing to, to go to this industrial partner and in, uh, interact with them, trying to see how ACGM could help them to solve this specific pro this problem that they, they formulate. And of course, again, these potential future collaborations, and I think also that is very important for young researchers, job opportunities, because with this interaction, this might open uh, perspectives in terms of uh, uh, future opportunities. Uh, and finally, in the dissemination pillar, I'll say that uh, <laughs> the cost website has been uh, updated with a, with a case study. It is in, from uh, Helmut Vessel. Uh, but perhaps we could try to enlarge these case studies in the cost website. And this could be linked with this uh, formulation of problems from industrial perspective. So if you have specific case studies and they are publicized in the cost action website, and we could try to level them with specific points that should be investigated or at least uh, shared with people under the form of a short scientific mission, whatever, try to push a little bit more uh, the, the ACGM uh, um, contribution to these, to these uh, case studies. Uh, and finally, these fact sheets that are being developed. Uh, there are some ideas how to disseminate these fact sheets. There are some there, a Wikipedia page, a conference, scientific journals and also a book series, perhaps. I think uh, at the end of this cost action, uh, a good book with these fact sheets that are being developed under this cost action could be a very good output to be disseminated worldwide. So we should try to look to these fact sheets where every, every person that is collaborating and producing them, 
not only as a simple fact sheet that we are producing for this construction, but perhaps for something bigger that will uh, last over time after the end of this construction, as a book, for example. And that's it. And thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much, Hedda. Uh, this were very good points. I uh, agree to uh, very many of them. And uh, yes, now we take up one of your points already uh, with the next presentation of uh, Helmut Wenzel, uh, Ranking Objects.